It was a successful program initiated by the governor when the youths decided to lay down their weapons to live a normal, productive life. Due to criminal activities, the children from that area had stopped going to school, mothers lack access to health services and other basic services. Governor of Central Province Rufina Pita came up with this peace and reconciliation program in 2023 that has resulted in laying down and surrendering of arms by the youths. As the governor for Central Province, she came up with this initiative to prepare the people to celebrate the 50th anniversary next year. Last year, in preparation for the 50-year anniversary celebrations in 2025, uh, as governor for Central, I looked at, and as PEC, we looked at how do we actually prepare our people to meaningfully celebrate the 50th anniversary on 16th of September 2025. Um, and so uh, looking at uh, the issues and challenges in the province, we decided that we had to start with the peace and reconciliation. When there is order in community, then we can, uh, the development initiatives uh, can be undertaken. And the Youths were also encouraged by the Central Police Provincial Commander that the government planned development can only reach every individual if there is no law and order issues in their respective communities. He said it's a first of its kind to witness youths lay down arms in Central Province. In any province, when you look at the development, development will never ever take place when we have a law and order problem. And I also want to thank Governor for the initiative of peace and reconciliation that was launched at Goylala last year. Because of the, the effect of that, the people have realized that what they're doing is sabotaging the you know, entire community. The PPC also appealed to the youths within Central Province to be part of the change in the community. Estagane, National MTV News.